Let's learn about the nerves of the skin. There are three different types of nerves in the skin. Sensory nerves, motor nerves, and secretory nerves. Sensory nerves. Your sensory nerve fibers are responsible for your sense of touch. So without these sensory nerve fibers, you wouldn't know if you were too hot, if you were too cold. You wouldn't know if someone was touching you. You wouldn't be able to feel pressure or pain. They're all throughout your skin, and that is one of the nerve fibers that you have in your skin is those sensory nerve fibers. They help you to sense the things that are going on in your environment, the hot, the cold, the pressure, the pain. Without your sensory nerve fibers, you could easily damage your skin or get seriously hurt. If you didn't know your stove was too hot and your sensory nerves weren't working properly, you could easily burn yourself. Your sensory nerve fibers are there to protect you and to help you out um, to notice pain, to notice pressure, to notice hot and cold. Motor nerves. The motor nerve fibers in your skin are responsible for controlling the muscles in your skin. Now you might be thinking, I don't have any muscles in your skin, but you actually do. You have a muscle called an erector pili muscle. It's a very interesting muscle that's attached to your hair follicle and to the top of your skin. And it is responsible when it contracts for giving you goosebumps. So there is an actual nerve, a motor nerve fiber that does control, contracts your muscles in your skin that cause you to have goosebumps. So that's the motor nerve fibers responsible for giving you goosebumps with contracting your erector pili muscle. So whenever you can see goosebumps going on, you know that's just your skin getting its workout. Secretory nerves. The other type of nerve fibers that you have in your skin are called secretory nerve fibers. And if you can think of those, that they secrete um, substances from your skin. So they secrete sweat. So the secretory um, nerve fibers are responsible for your sweat glands, releasing sweat from your sweat glands. And they're also responsible for, for releasing the oil from your oil glands. Often the oil is called sebum and the technical name for the gland is the sebaceous gland. But without those secretory nerve fibers, you wouldn't have that soft pliable skin releasing the oil from your oil gland or the sebum from your sebaceous gland. And you wouldn't have the sweat being able to cool your body down and release salt and moisture from your body from the sweat gland. So the secretory nerve fibers are responsible for that sweat gland, uh, releasing the sweat and salt and water from the sweat gland and cooling you down, and also for releasing the oil from the oil gland to keep your skin nice and soft and supple. So there's those two types of glands in the skin, the oil gland and the sweat gland, and the secretory nerve fibers are responsible for helping those to produce enough sweat to keep your body cool and enough oil to keep your skin soft and pliable.